Morning CMS. I'm Owen. And I'm Paige. And we're bringing you the morning news. Today's lunch will be popcorn chicken and with mashed potatoes and gravy. You can also get pizza. Today's weather will be partly snowy with a high of 37 degrees and a low of 25 degrees. Today is Veterans Day, a day to appreciate our service men and women. The CMS Drama Club's upcoming show, No Strings Attached. The musical for adventurers of Pinocchio will have two adventure, two performances at the Giaga Theatre on December 1st at 6.30 and December 14th at 3 p.m. Good morning, CMS. I'm Zach. And I'm Neil. And we are bringing you more news. All 7th grade football players need to see Mr. Aron in room 211 to pick up their undefeated team shirts at their earliest convenience. Student council will meet on Thursday, November 14th instead of the 21st. Please make a note in your calendars. Don't be a turkey. Help student council and builders club collect food for people in our community. You could win a chance to throw a pie at Mr. Velado or Mr. Tomko during lunches on November 26th. Next Monday, November 18th, is Macaroni Monday. Tuesday, November 19th, is Tuna and Protein Tuesday. Wednesday, November 20th, is Whatever Day, Wednesday. Thursday, November 21st, is Thanksgiving Thursday. Friday, November 22nd, is Fruity and Veggie Friday. See the bulletin board in the cafeteria for more details. Teacher Feature. Today's clue. This teacher's hobbies are running, hiking, and cross-country skiing. has long held a historical significance to the United States. Today we celebrate it as a federal and state holiday called Veterans Day, but it was first incorporated under a different name. At the 11th hour of the 11th day of the 11th month of 1918, an armistice was signed to end fighting between the Allied nations and Germany. A year later, President Woodrow Wilson declared November 11th as Armistice Day to honor all veterans who served in World War I. People believed this was the war to end all wars, and countries all around the world celebrated lasting peace. In 1954, after both World War II and the Korean War, President Dwight D. Eisenhower signed a bill proclaiming November 11th as Veterans Day to honor veterans of all wars. Each year, on November 11th, a national ceremony takes place at the Memorial Amphitheater in Arlington National Cemetery. At 11 a.m., a color guard, representative of all branches of the military, executes present arms at the Tomb of the Unknowns. The ceremony continues with the laying of the presidential wreath and the playing of taps. Several veteran service organizations participate in the parade of flags. Veterans Day stands as a day of celebration and remembrance. It is a day for Americans to honor both living and fallen service members for their patriotism and courage in times of war as well as peace. From Washington, I'm Petty Officer Liz Blahos. All, all our campaigns was rough. But the worst one that I think that, that uh, I participated in, and I, I'm pretty sure most everybody else would agree, was the Battle of the Vote. There's an old man in a uniform at the local Walmart store Selling three dollar raffle tickets for a picture on the floor And as he called me over, I asked him what's it for He said, the local 133 were veterans of foreign war in his mind he wondered if I knew Everything that he had to go through Will you remember All that I've done Will you
Have a great day, CMS. Doo -doo.